Morning, everyone. It is September 12th. This is your September market update here in San Diego. This is Maxwell Ventura, real estate broker associate with Douglas Elliman here, part of the Disher Group, downtown San Diego. Uh, today, your market update is going to be time stamped. So what I'll be covering will be a total market overview of the entire county. I'm going to cover attached and detached, and then I'm going to drill down a little bit more specific into attached and detached separate. Uh, we'll, we'll go through two to four units. I'm going to also get into the rates and what's happening around San Diego. Specifically, uh, we're going to get into uh, Apple coming to San Diego and what that means. And then also talk a little bit about the Midway proposal that is um, being proposed. And it looks like the clear-cut winner. So with, with all that being said, we'll get right into it. All right. So as promised, we're right into our total market overview. And I have last month's sheet here for reference. So starting right here at homes for sale, the first thing that point that stands out to me is we're at 4406. So yes, it's a 20% increase from this time last year. But if you look at just last month, we were at 4900. And then the numbers above that is going to be the month before that. So two months ago, we were around 4300. Last month, we climbed to 49. And then this is actually the first month that we have gone in the opposite direction. So it tells me that we've gotten our our big surge of listings that we were going to get once the rates started to jump up, and now we're coming back down. Uh, I think that a lot of sellers came to market as soon as we had a couple months consistency, consistency of median sales price going in the opposite direction. And so we had a surge of new listings hitting the market because where we were at the peak. Sellers are trying to capitalize on their equity. And uh, we also have holidays fast approaching too. So I would, and it looks like rates are going to stay around the same. So I would imagine that our inventory is not going to get any better until maybe after the holidays. It might not even happen then, but we just lost 500 homes in a month for our total active inventory. Now, again, this is detached and attached, everything within the entire county. Um, attached is going to be condos and townhomes and so on. So median sales price here, you see we're at 800,000 flat. Yes, we're up 7.4%, but I mean, if you've been following the market, we've been hovering around 15 to 20% religiously, um, year over year numbers. So 800,000 last month, last month, 835,000, $35,000 drop. And the month before that, we dropped another 25,000. So uh, we went from 860 median, and we always follow median when it comes to sales price. We don't look at the average. Uh, the median is the is the more accurate number. You have, you know, you could have a 20, 25 million dollar property that gets sold, and then that'll that'll skew the average. So we don't look at average. We look at median. But that's a dramatic shift. That's sixty thousand dollars change in just the last two months. So. Um, after that, what I like to do is uh, we have a month supply of inventory is at 1.6. Last month, 1.8. And then the month before that, 2.1. So the market has actually been speeding up over the last couple months, contrary to proper popular belief. Month supply of inventory, what that means is if you were to take the um, total inventory that we have, and if it were to continue moving at the same pace, if the market were to continue moving at the same pace, homes homes would continue selling at the same pace, yet no new inventory hit the market, then this is simply the amount of time it would take for all of our inventory to be completely dried up, which is 1.6 months. So that is a seller's market. A healthy, balanced market is going to be somewhere between three to five months. Some people will say between four to six months. In San Diego, I think three to five and so we've been we've been under three for years, and so we are still in a seller's market. And you can see that the that 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 number is decelerating over the last couple months. We were at two point one two months ago. Uh, affordability index has stayed low now for quite some time. The rates will obviously affect that, along with appreciating home prices. So um, a year ago, it was at a fifty one score. And that means that 51 out of 100 people can aff that live in this area can afford a median sales price home. Well, now that number is 38. It's been hovering there for the last few months. Now we're at 37. Or last month it was 37. The month before that was at 40. This is another number that shifted dramatically. Is the percentage of original price received? What this means is, 
it's it's the average of the offer um, the offer that was accepted relative to the original list price. So that means that offers are getting accepted at 97.2% of the list price on average under the list price. So you can see a year ago, this number was at 102. I saw it as high as in the peak of the craziness at 107.1, I think it was. And, but typically it hovers around this number right here, 97%. So we saw it like go way up gradually month over month. And then, and then now back down, because you can see last month it was at 99.3 and the month before that was at 102. So we've seen a major shift just in the last few months. And then the last piece on here is that new listings uh, are down 24%. Pendings are down and closed sales are down. Even with the um, new inventory that we've had, the, the excess of inventory that we've had compared to what it was five, six months ago, we're still down on new listings and pendings and close. So the market you know, is moving at a slower pace than what it was when it was in the peak craziness. Now we'll jump up here. I'm not going to spend too much time on these, but for detached only, you can see the medians at 910,000. Not too long ago, we were quickly approaching 1 million. And so that, that number has obviously dropped. It's going to look pretty similar, 7% year over year. And uh, days on market's about four weeks, 28 days. So that's jumped up a lot. It was at 20, about three weeks. And that's a dramatic difference, 40%. Um, 3,000 or so active inventory throughout the entire county. This is detached only. And then if we come down to attached, which is condos and townhomes, um, you'll see that the median, 625,000 is the median to get into a condo or townhome throughout all of San Diego County. The uh, percentage of original list price received, 98%. Days on market's going to be a little bit less, so it's about three and a half weeks. Affordability is much better, as you would expect, because we're talking condos and townhomes. Inventory is significantly less than um, detached, but it is 22% more than what it was this time last year, and the month supply of inventory is up significantly from this time last year. Now we're going to look at two to four units. So... <clears throat> this is a separate tab in the MLS. It's two to four units only. At least that's how the listing agents input it into the MLS. You can see throughout all of San Diego County, the only that's the only filter I have. There's no filters other than San Diego County. There's 175 total active right now. That's not too much. Typically, we like to see more than that, you know, around three, 300 or so. And they're ranging from, so this is two to four units, right? Here's the units here. And you're going to see some anomalies. Like some guy put in a 194 unit complex. Like she shouldn't do that. It should not be here. You shouldn't see fives and sixes. It should just be all two to four. Then the majority of them will be. Um, this is sor sorted by price. So that's why you'll see some of these outliers um, of the 175, but we're ranging all the way from 12 million. You see it drops down pretty quickly down to 3 million and we go all the way down to the bottom and this is, oh, these are, these two are back on market. So here we go. So we've got a duplex. We got a couple duplexes here. Here's one national app. Not even going to look at these ones in Borrego Springs. Uh, National Ave, here's a duplex in 92113 at, listed at 539.9. Okay, here's two more that are in National City, 600,000, 600,000. So that's, that's kind of where the duplexes are starting. You'll find a couple anomalies that are around five, 600,000, but then you'll see they quickly jump up. See, these are all duplexes, 700,000, 725, 730. Lemon Grove, National City, Chula Vista, etc. So that's kind of where it's starting right now. You see, all the, there's a bunch more duplexes here. Lemon Grove, okay, so in, within the 700,000s. It's kind of where it's starting. You'll find some under that, but that's essentially what we're looking at. 30 year fixed. So this is the uh, average in the US, and you'll see we hit a recent low. Um, this was August 4th at 4.99%, 
I want to look at this peak here. This was in June 23rd at 5.81. And then if we fast forward to the present, as of the most recent data, and today is September 12th, this is September 8th at 5.89. We're kind of on this upward trajectory. Now this is from the Keeping Current Matters. You'll see uh, experts project mortgage rates will stabilize. So while mortgage rates continue to fluctuate due to ongoing inflationary pressures and economic uncertainty, experts project that will stabilize in the months ahead. According to the projections, the rates are expected to hover in the low to mid 5% initially and then potentially dip in, dip into the high 4% range by later next year. That's a, that's That's quite some time. So what this is showing is there's not going to be too much movement. Again, these are just projections. But 2022 Q4, average of 5.4%. And here we go, 2023 Q1, Q2, Q3, 5.3, 5.2, 4.8. So my advice, get into the game now if you can. If you're ready, willing, and able, and you're, you're able to purchase, do it now. Don't wait. The cost of waiting, it looks like, um, will be much worse than than do than choosing to do nothing. You should always buy when you're ready, willing, and able. Um, when rates go down, at some point, you know, I'm hoping they'll they'll go back to where they were uh, a year a year or so ago. You can always refi. It's better to get into the game now. Take advantage of all the other benefits of real estate investing. Your principal pay down. If there is an opportunity to rent out a room or another unit, obviously you'll have some cash flow or subsidizing part of the mortgage home appreciation, and so on. And then uh, digging into what's happening around San Diego, you'll see Apple expands the footprint here with a 67-acre campus, $445 million. And so they're expecting 5,000 workers by 2026. This is reported to be Apple's first commercial property purchase. They have leased buildings in uh, UTC and Rancho Bernardo. Um, so it's, we've got 5,000 new jobs coming to San Diego by 2026. Amazon also announced 2,500 jobs uh, to San Diego, Santa Monica, and Irvine. And then we have dozens of other projects that are bringing in tens of thousands of high-paying tech jobs over the next decade. We have a new apartment complex that is being built up in Oceanside, 268 uh, units. And then finally, I thought this was interesting. This is a uh, so proposed Midway developer. So Midway's been hot contention with a ton of developers bidding for the project. And so uh, the proposed Midway developer donated more than 100000 to elected Mayor Todd Gloria. And then right down here, uh, Mayor recommends the Midway Rising for selection in, this, in the sports arena competition. So I thought that was interesting. And so uh, Midway Rising was really down to three different developers, and it looks like Midway Rising is positioned to win. Sports Arena is really the last major piece of real estate that's coastal, that's kind of up for contention, that needs a full redevelopment. If you think about what's going on around there, you have um, all of Mission Bay, Pacific Beach, uh, OB, um, uh, Mission Valley is getting the uh, their their development project underway, Riverwalk, and so in a nutshell, what this is looking like is you have about two thousand market rate units, a new sixteen thousand seat arena, two hundred room hotel, forty five hundred parking spaces. We definitely need it over there. It gets it does get congested over by the eight uh, and the five. And then 20 acres of plaza and parks space, uh, including four acres of rooftop parks. So that's going to be it for the September market update. Thanks for watching. And um, this will all be timestamped. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.